In this video, we'll take a look at how to transpose data. And transposing is just a fancy word for when we want our rows to become our columns. So for example, in this data set here, notice how we have the variable names in the first column, and then the data flow from left to right, or they flow in the rows here. Well, typically, when I'm doing any kind of data analyses, I have my variable names in the first row and my data flow downward, so each variable is a separate column. So if I inherit the data like this, at first it may seem like, oh my goodness, I have to re-enter all the data here or copy and paste by cell, which would take a really long time. Thankfully, that's not necessary at all. There's a very quick solution here. Now the easiest way, I think, to transpose the data is to go ahead and copy it. So I'll select the three rows. I'll right click the mouse, select copy, and I'm going to go ahead and transpose the data here just so I can keep these two separate for now. So with cell A5 selected, I'll right click the mouse, go to paste special, and then go down to the end where it says paste transposed. Go ahead and select that, and you can see there I've already got a transpose, so SAT score 1200, it's right here, SAT score 1200. Social support goes down now in column two, and then college GPA goes down in column three. And if we see here, we have 1,262, 3.45. There's 1,262, 3.45. Looking at one more example to make sure this worked correctly, 1050, 56, and 29. There's 1050, 56, and 29. Okay, that looks great. So what I'll do now is I'll delete these first four rows. So go ahead and select rows one through four here. Right click the mouse. Click on Delete Rows 1 through 4, and there you go. So we've got our data transposed. And I'll just go ahead and expand this a little by double clicking right here. Actually, let's make it a little bigger, and then this one too. All right, we've got our data now ready to be analyzed in the more traditional column format. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.